Well, I hope everybody's doing well. You know, I was watching a little thing on a YouTube there. Some little gal gets up there that's with the old Biden administration. She's telling everybody how fertilizer products and all this farming stuff that you can't get is a good thing. Because you go back to the old ways of doing things. That's fine. If you only want to feed a handful of people in the world instead of the whole world. Only so much manure you can spread on the ground, people. There's only so many cattle. Oh, that's right. They want to get away from them, too, because they have carbon emissions. Well, I'll tell you what. Are they going to starve? No, they're not going to starve. But they'll tell you how you can live your life. World Economic Forum. Look it up. Charles Schwab. He's ahead of it. He's been, he's been training these world leaders and governors and everybody else in between on how they should get on board and do what's right for the world as they fly around in their jets and live in their mansions. They're going to tell you how, oh my God, get ready, you're going to starve. There's going to be a, oh, there's going to be a food shortage and you're going to starve. Well, probably certain parts of the country, it still goes on today, they're starving. They're not wrong about that. Are you going to starve? Well, it's up to them. They break down the system, destroy the currency, devalue everything. Yeah, yeah, you might. Because that's their end goal, is to make sure you're not here. There's too many of you. They want to play God, see? Well, I think God's got a whole other thing for them. And they ain't going to like it. But that's how things work in this world. Some son of a bitch has got to tell you how you're going to live your life. No man, woman, whatever should tell you how you can live your life. That's up to you. Now, ideally, if you would follow the commandments and that, everything would be great. But a lot of people don't want to do that. Well, I'm not going to say that's okay either, because it's not. But in six months, my God, we're going to starve. Did you know that? Yeah, I know. You're probably hearing it all over the place. They're getting ready. You know, the devil's got to tell you what he's going to do, man. He's got to, you got to invite him in the door and accept the fact that you're going to starve. Well, don't be a victim. Don't go, oh, poor me. Don't be the victim. You do what you got to do to eat. You got to tear up your front lawn, back lawn. I don't care what the hell you got to do. Do hydroponics in your basement. It doesn't matter. You know, do it in the garage. It doesn't matter. You do what you have to do to eat and survive. And hopefully you can get other people on board and all of you eat and survive. Show these son of a bitches where they can go. Like I said, people, it's just words on a piece of paper. Words coming out of their damn mouth don't mean anything. You want to tell you it means something, but it doesn't. You want to tell you how, oh, the bully's going to going to nuke us, going to do this, going to do that. Well, you know what? We got nukes too. As good, if not better. They don't want to talk about that stuff, but your leadership sucks. That's where the problem lies. They're being weak and passive like they're being. Man, instead of just standing strong when he first came out and said that nuke bullshit, let him know exactly where he stands. Are you going to die on your feet or die on your knees? Well, guess what? That's up to you too, isn't it? Well, hopefully, y'all getting ready, getting prepared. How well doesn't really matter as long as you're trying. That's what counts, is you try.